Welcome back, dancers. This is Sarah, your online ballet teacher, the accidental artist. In this video, I'm going to share with you some valuable exercises to strengthen the legs of hyperextended dancers. This will allow them to keep that beautiful straight line through their hyperextended leg. Their extended leg, of course, will still have that nice curve so greatly desired in dancers and make the beautiful shape on layer. With proper training, students can learn to create that straight line that will give them the ultimate support, especially on point. So during their formative years, they must be taught how to keep their legs straight without pressing back or rolling into their joints. In other words, the thigh and the lower leg must be kept vertically aligned with the knee. The knee joint must be straight and firm and not allowed to push back or lock into the joint. Active thigh muscles help hold the knee into place. So we will show you today some great exercises for working on your own and learning on your own how to become strong on that standing leg for hyperextended dancers. Okay, so the back of her leg, yeah, you can see that the, that the yeah. knee is straight. Yeah, good. And then it's very much like PPT. Looks to me like you could, you could be up on the ball and do the same thing. It would just be extra core and glute control if you added that. I'd start with just this though, as you um, learn to control the back of your legs basically. Yeah, nice. And how many times would you do that? Maybe four to eight a set? Yeah, maybe. Okay. And is there another version? Going on Dior with hyperextension. So you gotta really hold on to the left hip so it doesn't go with the right leg. And then you reverse it, keeping long. That's it, and keep stretch through your bottom leg. The bottom leg stays flexed. Yeah, but not hyperextended, good. That was a good to see in the difference, nice. Your back super straight. Yes, try to get a little more lift out of that lower back. That's the hardest part, but actually the part I'm zeroing in on is your sartorius. So go ahead, your feet are flexed, your legs are nice and straight. Now we're going to initiate the lift from inside that knee. And one. And two. And three. And four. Good. Up. Yes. Try not to sit side saddle, so you're really losing your core. That's better and up so it's going all the way up to her hip right through there and change legs and one and two and three and four that's it yes it's hard to see exactly try it one more time yeah there you go let's do the left leg one more time and keep it, so I don't really care about that foot, but the foot will turn, turn out along the way. Yeah, that's better. And the whole inside thigh and inner part of the leg of your knee is gonna come around. You've seen how these two muscles can rotate the thigh and support the knee at the same time. It's excellent to do for increasing your turnout ability and stability of your standing leg, whether you're hyperextended or not. The girl that's bending forward is practicing on a demi, really small demi point, strengthening her adductors, which also help with hyperextension. Rotating, rotating, hyperextended legs need more concentration. We're going to squeeze those legs together, trying to get those heels to touch and rotate, rotate, turning out. Good job. Initiating from the core, she's got her hands on her abs. She's pressing in and out. Breathe. Yeah, that's it. We're on the Pilates reformer. Wow, good job. That's right. And finish. Hey, thanks for joining us. And I hope you learned something wonderful that will help you in your dance technique. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing. 
hit the notification bell and you will be notified every time I upload a new video on ballet techniques so you can learn on your own. Bye for now.